what's going on guys welcome to another video so for today's video in our google app script series um i want to share something very interesting with you guys which is the possibility of doing a web application uh, through google app script and for today's demonstration or tutorial or perhaps walkthrough I'll be showing you how to do your very own login uh, screen with registration. Uh, basically, it's actually a first step before uh, any other sort of uh, functionality. Definitely the login and registration. So without further ado, let's have a go. All right, guys. So first of all, as usual, let's head on to Google Drive and from here you want to log in and of course uh, create your new spreadsheet so as you know i already have my spreadsheet and i created a spreadsheet with the name web app and the, the sheet table called credential and here you'll see i have email and password in column a and b I'll just zoom this uh, in for you guys. All right, so we have the email and password. Again, this is very, very, very basic. We will cover a much more sophisticated and secure login in the next video. But here we just want to run through on the steps that we need to take to create a login or registration feature in your web app. <clears throat> So, of course, to start off, we will have to go to Extensions and go to App Script. So, I already have mine ready, uh, which is uh, Web App version 1. So, the version 2 that I'm working on right now is actually regarding the social login, where you can log in with uh, Google or Microsoft. But anyways, um, so as you can see, there is a structure that I prepared. And not to worry, I will provide all of this in the description down below. So first of all, we have the server site uh, script, which is under script.googlescript, or GS, I would assume it's GS. So of course, it will look into the first function is to get the index.html. So whatever we have here in index.html, I'll run you through here later. And I've provided some comments so that you understand the coding better. So we will check on for the email and password based on the spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet ID. So again, uh, to get this ID is very easy. Uh, when you open up your spreadsheet, the URL above will show you the... the uh, ID uh, as shown on the screenshot on screen so now it will look into the sheet by name which is credential of course credential we have it here all right so once it's matching then it will return the match found and which is true else it will say it's no match and of course, there's a few more functions to get the uh, menu page, which is menu.html, registration page, which is, which is registration.html, login page, which is the index.html. And of course, I've added another function, which is to register new user. Uh, I'll run you through on this shortly whereby it will insert new email and password in a table when there's a new registration happening. So more or less, uh, oh, that's more about it for the overall server-side script. And in index.html, uh, we have some CSS style uh, settings I provided in the code. So of course, you can change your background image uh, you can change certain settings on the alignment, orientation, or coloring, size, and all that. And of course, you can add on your own logo. So this is mine. 
and we have the login form. So in login form, you will have a text input for email and password and a submit button, which is to validate the login upon completing the form. And of course, in the login page itself, there is a link to registration page, which we will see later. And of course, once it's a successful login, it will uh, redirect the user to another view, which is the menu.html. It's still empty, but it's just to show the redirection once it's successful. All right, so in registration is similar to login. The only, the only difference is the form itself, which is registration form. So again, this is the function of registration, whereby when a user adds its email and password to register, it will add on into the table. And of course, in menu, it's very empty. It's blank for now. We will cover this in the next video. So let's see how we can actually make use of this tool, which is registration and login for today. So when you're once you're done with these three or four uh, scripts, I will share uh, in the in the comment uh, description down below. But of course, to create a .html file or .script file, all you need to do is to click add a file here. And it's either script or HTML. So it's quite easy. So now, once you have all this ready, all you need to do is to save the project before you deploy. So you de deploy, you can actually find the button on the top right corner. And there's a deploy this project option. I already have mine, but I'll just create a new one for you. It's a new deployment. So here we will see a select type. So there's a few options. It's either an API, executable, add-on or library. But for our case today, we want to deploy as web app. You set your description. Uh, I'm executing as a user accessing the web app. And anyone with Google account will be able to access this script or yourself. So once you click on deploy, you will be given a URL to the script, which is this web app URL. So once you click on the URL, you will see a login page that looks something like this. So of course, this is the login page. And uh, this is for existing users. So whenever I click a new user, click here, you will go to a different page, which is the registration page. So let's say if I put here Alex at test home, password is subscribe to my channel. So when I click register, you immediately see Alex email and password in discretion. So more or less that is how the and of course once you're registered, you'll be redirected to a login page. So I'm just gonna use mine And click on submit so once it's successful it will redirect you to menu page again this is empty for now so we will we will cover more in that tutorials on how to create more modules or functionalities in the script and uh, that we have just created today so this is something that you can actually achieve with google app script and i hope that we can actually uh run through more modules in the next video so guys i hope you enjoyed the video so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as it helps me to grow further and of course the the next uh, video in terms of the web app series we'll talk about going deeper in terms of the functionality such as dashboarding 
or perhaps any uh, features like um, uh, the usual modules that you have such as uh, forms or any sort of uh, specific uh, features or functionalities that you desire in the app. So I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.